Panelites Podcast. Kyle here with Paneloids Podcast. Also with Pierre. One day we right. won't jack up an intro and I won't have to piece together chunks from 10 different episodes to make it sound normal. All right, so we're doing a little bit of a grab bag. There's still DCU gossip, for lack of better words, floating around. So we'll start with that. The new Superman is going to be young. As we know, Henry's out. Any thoughts on young Superman? He's too old. He's too old, that Henry. I don't think that's why. I just think he was part of a 10-year span of being in, what, three movies and then not being so great? So I'm very happy with this. Okay. I was hired of him as Superman. I'm excited to see what they do with him. Mm -hmm. I saw Mm -hmm. someone post. Obviously, these are all just rumors, and no one has any real idea of what's happening. But it'd be cool if they made him Bizarro. Like, kept Henry Cavill as Bizarro. (laughs) made him bizarro so he like, will never do that never no. if they made him lex luther are you trying to recast him already i've moved on from him i want to know who's the new face he's gonna be something you know he's gonna be reused in marvel yeah marvel definitely is taking him but i think he'll definitely have a role in dc in something recasting i know you had someone that you thought was good for it yes i had jacob l lordy if i'm saying that correctly if anyone watched euphoria he was the psychopath toxic masculinity with the dad the one that he dated the one girl and then he dated her friend in secret and then they beat the shit of each other in the lockers and like slammed her and that's the problem with fan casting if it's not like a household name there's no way i can explain it correctly for an audio podcast and even if you watch the youtube i'm not gonna take the time to put this guy's face right here i'm not gonna do it i'm just not well, you, if you watch euphoria you know who we're talking about yeah the but... psychopath with the psychopath yeah. dad so i feel like for this main cast mm-hmm. the main justice league i feel like they got to stay true to what it is. And then from there, all the other Earths, I would love to see them adapted into a movie. You know, like still mm. bring those in. Or even like the other, you know, there's other Superman. There's also other uh, Batman. Like mm. adapt all those things into where you are getting a more multicultural. Mm. Like not a lot of people know of Earth 2 Superman, you know. So I feel like right. you use the main Superman. If you use Stewart, people recognize John Stewart, like mm-hmm. arguably maybe more than Hal Jordan at this point because of well, the animated series. That's what I wanted to say. I think that John Stewart being the main and only Green Lantern and the one that we're reintroduced to as the Green Lantern makes sense because let's face it, what age group is obsessing and sitting and making podcasts about these movies? It's millennials. It's our age. Mm-hmm. So when James Gunn came out and said he's going to take inspiration from the 90s Justice League cartoon, he's not stupid. He knows his demographic, and it's us. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Jon Stewart's our favorite, and he always will be. It makes sense for him to be our Green Lantern. I said it before. I think the focus should be on other people, too, though. Like, it shouldn't just Mm -hmm. be, oh, Justice League's your main. We have other teams that they can adapt. They did well with Suicide Squad, you know. I'd like to see Teen Titans. Mm, I think they just held back on what they can do on the show. (laughs) I think that's the issue with the show. I think it's just being held back on what they can do. Right. And they could easily take that same cast and push the limit a little bit further. Oh, it's budget. It's 100% budget. I like the cast. I think visually, the costumes, everything's great. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. We got to talk about that one. Zachary Quinto for Lex Luthor. They should really Mm. do a Lex Luthor. Zachary Quinto, do you know who this is? I'm mildly familiar, but if you can name a few things he was in to help me. The newest Spock. Oh. Pull up a picture of him. Bald. It's perfect. Don't do him like Jesse Eisenberg. I need like a strong looking dude. Okay, so what you're saying is you want your actors to be very attractive and fit. I want to be sexified by my (laughs) my new Justice League. It was kind of funny. I don't know if you saw, you know, the Green Lantern, HBO Max, Jon Stewart thing. Oh, yeah. So, right. So CBR, not to call them out, but they made a whole post saying that it was, you know, huge rumor. Now, they did mm-hmm. say the word rumor to defend them, but James Gunn just basically retweeted and was like, nah, not true. I think that's what I like about James Gunn is that oh, he's yeah. really doing a good job, first off, at keeping all these things like at bay. And whatever they're doing over there, they're hiding a lot of information. Unlike Marvel. Yeah. I'm sure as time goes, it'll start leaking and everything. And again, I don't know if Marvel just does that purposely, but it's just funny to see all these media outlets like come out with all these rumors and he's just like nah what are you talking about like you're right. making shit up <laughs> which gives me hope to your point john stewart the 90s show i think we're right like about this is mm-hmm. the start of the justice league we're gonna get an intro to john stewart and he's gonna be your central point to the team i mean i'd eventually. be cool with him in a sense taking the superman role and hawk girl in a sense taking the wonder woman role oh yeah you could always do hawk girl too instead of 
Wonder Woman. I mean, in the 90s, they both were there. I think you should have them both. I like the dynamic between everyone because no. Flash is always like flirting with Wonder Woman. They got to do it up. Green Lantern eventually has a child with Hawk Girl. There you go. I think Jon Stewart, you start that off, you do the space thing, and then he mm -hmm. gets like a call like, oh, we need you. Or maybe Superman just landed or something like that. To shift gears slightly, I don't really feel like going through the whole list. Just Google a list, but I just wanted to note the spider variants in the Across the Spider-Verse trailer. There was we're some cool ones. On yeah, we're super late on this. Happy New Year. Whatever. Stay healthy. But the cool ones to me were the 90s cartoon, Renew Your Vows. Like there was some oddball ones in there that you know i'm sure is only getting a second of screen time but very cool and the favorite? trailer who's my favorite Ooh. obviously you're excited to see miles morales in another movie but who would be your top spider-man to see in this movie this All is right. really out there so they showed it was mark something but basically in dan slot's run on amazing spider-man there was an anti-sinister six armor mm -hmm. and there's actually a very similar version in fortnite oh but... didn't he have like all the powers of the sinister six or something? no it Not just was powers, like... like counteracting their powers. yes they were all yeah. counteractive but it was just cool because it wasn't like oh spider-man got an iron man suit it was peter parker sitting in a lab being like i need to build something to fight all of them at once yeah, yeah. and it was just completely him and it, it showed why peter parker was unique in his own way of showing him in the lab building something and being a scientist and an engineer and a creator so that suit too is just sick it's like sleek it's mostly red it's got some blue hints they showed that in the back that's what i want to see and it'll be literally mm -hmm. 10 seconds my favorite one well two of them fighter punk after reading the comic book i'm like all right i'm mm -hmm. excited to see how they do it on the movie other one is the spider-man with the paper bag over his head oh bombastic yeah, where he loses his costume, like, takes, like, yep. a Fantastic Four costume. That is also yeah. my second one. I have the yeah. little action figure of it from when they did the Marvel Universe figures. Mm -hmm. And that was, like, the chase. And, like, you couldn't find it. And Melissa actually bought it for me for, like, 100 bucks on eBay. Oh, really? Yeah, like, it's That's just, cool. like, one of those things. Now there's more of them, of course. There's different figures. But, like, that was the original one. It's, like, rare as shit. A Funko Pop of it. Oh, yeah, I saw those. Yeah, yeah. my Spider-Man wall. I know it's not going to be anything. It's just cool right. to see it. I actually think it's going to be something in the MCU. When oh, MCU you think they'll... Like the Fantastic Four. He'll like somehow go through like the Baxter building. Like, oh shoot, where's my costume? To run with that, they will recreate that famous cover where it's Spider-Man sprawled out in the lab and the Fantastic Four are looking up at him. Like, I think it makes sense. Did you see that Amazon ordered a live action God of War? Now, obviously there's no information on it, but they own it. Who would they you own it? fan cast as God of War? Kratos. Yeah. Part of me wants to say the voice actor, but I know he's a little older now. And I actually saw a clip recently that the original voice actor got recast because he wasn't big enough. And they were using the voice actor for motion capture as well, which is why the games are so great. They're using the person's, you know, actual movement and body language. I mean, I'd love to see him. I don't know if you're familiar. He was in Stargate, like the original Stargate, like from the 90s. He had the gold thing oh, on his yeah. head, but he could do it. And I know they're going to go younger because they're obsessed with going younger. Jason Momoa. What if I told I you he's already been cast? I don't love it. I'm just I really don't. Been cast. Yeah, I know. Really? The beard? I, I feel it. like it works. I want someone naturally bald. Now, coming from someone with a receding hairline, am I being biased? Mm. Sure. Yep. But it's the same reason I hate fat suits. There's tons of great actors out there who can fit what you're looking for. Find it. Just not Vin Diesel. Don't put Vin Diesel. How great would that be, though? Family boy. It's about family. If it was just older God of War, like him mm -hmm. being older, yes. If it was young Kratos, I feel like you'd have to adapt the story from like someone else. But Vin Diesel older Kratos wouldn't be that bad. You know what I wouldn't be opposed to? Full CGI. Batista? Oh, oh. No. Oh, yeah. Batista, easy. That's an easy shoe in of course. Fine with that. But full CGI wouldn't be opposed to either. Yeah. Like, what was that movie? <laughs> I didn't give you any I... Beowulf. Oh, I actually never saw that, and I actually loved the book or whatever. It was the fuck all it was. CGI, but like it was like CGI real. So yeah, that's what I mean. And they're gonna do a yeah, Star like Wars Angelina like that. Jolie, all this stuff. Like it looked good though. It was like right. it was a good movie. So I would do. But I guess like it's that. just the game then, right? I guess if you're doing full CGI, it's just like you might as well just play the video. Play game. the game. Yeah. All right. So it wasn't a great idea. Moving on. I know you're not super familiar with Greg Capullo, but he was the artist on Batman for quite a few years with Scott Snyder. Probably the best Batman run ever. Uh, 
oh, look, there's your number one. Great. We'll get it signed and graded one day after I check the condition. So everyone knows he's going to Marvel. Now, when I say going to Marvel, it's not like super contract, super strict. But he did come out and say he's only going to do cover art. He doesn't want to work on a book at his age. He wants to do more cover art because he wants to get more stuff out there. I know he's working on a book, which I'm super excited for. And actually, tell a short story. So in Philly, we saw a panel of him and it was maybe 20 people in the room. It was not advertised correctly. And Dimitri actually kind of got a question going. It was just like a little Q and a but it wasn't it was just a conversation with 10 people in greg capullo he basically explained that when you're a new artist because everything's digital like his first thing he tries to teach people when they come to him and just like oh you're a veteran like what do i need to know he's like don't do everything digital Mm -hmm. make sure you're at the minimum making your covers on paper and he said the sole reason is because you sell them so i think that's part of it too is he says where's the money where can i do this big full page spread that's something beautiful not like little boxes he's doing his absolute best to get us the cool as shit and probably put the most in his pocket as someone who's a veteran i should start doing art my hero academia i don't know if you're caught up on the anime i've been waiting Uh, for it to come through dubbed it had a weird kind of awkward start like it kind of jumped around and love it it is fantastic right now it is so great and i know Mm. there's more i could watch but i'm waiting for the dub just because i try and keep to whatever i started as what i wanted to mention was the manga so 269 of the manga has a full double page spread with every character in it and Mm. if you look closely you will find chainsaw man oh now what's cool about this is when you go to the show now that it's starting to translate through like there's previews that was translated to the anime it is not chainsaw man it's hacksaw man and it's some knockoff version of chainsaw man because they couldn't legally get the right but it's still cool it's cool that there's a cameo that way and there's a cool that there's basically a character inspired by him technically floating in the my hero world he looks just like him has like a chainsaw for a head the manga is exactly chainsaw man the anime is a goofy hacksaw being that you've watched the new season does it get darker do you feel like it's becoming more adult not necessarily a problem but now that i'm watching chainsaw man Mm -hmm. i feel like it's hard for me to go and be like oh let me go watch my hero because i feel like their first few seasons are definitely a lot more lighthearted until he goes to like that one big big fight I 100% agree. I think there was a turning point. They slip in a few curse words here and there. I believe the movies are still based for young audience, but I believe the show is pulling away from that. I believe the manga has pulled away from it. I have some spoilers from the manga that when they translate through, there's no way it can't be dark. Mm. So yeah, I agree. And I do think that, you know, it'll have its filler episodes that are a little goofy. But yeah, when the fight scenes are going on, that shit's serious and like mildly emotional. But yeah, I have been watching Chainsaw Man, so I feel like eventually I'll transition back to watching My Hero. Did you watch the latest episode of Chainsaw Man? I watched it, but I don't want to talk about it yet because I have plans. We'll do a big wrap-up episode for Chainsaw. Yes, that'll be the following episode from this, so make sure you subscribe. Speaking of all this anime, though, I did want to make note. I'm going to just read off of this list of rumored and confirmed shows. Now we know when they do this, it's not always great, but here is a quick list of live-action animes we'll be getting. The last airbender you can argue it's not an anime but it is mm, i'm not sure but hopefully they do a good job one piece we've seen a little bit of set photos of the boat no but they that one. actually do good with their anime like shows that they've like made into little movies on netflix like live action they haven't done bad no? they've all been canceled every single one if you enjoy them that's fine but they've all been canceled never mind <laughs> kimmy ni todoko never heard of it never knew it that's all i got for you that just that, that was no i lied <laughs> i lied there's five more an untitled pokemon live action series no information on this depending on who's directing it and what they do with it it could be good because the tech of right. pikachu wasn't that yeah, bad. i was gonna say you keep the so, vibe of that we can make yeah. this work yeah Get and Ryan reynolds on that honorable mention ash ketchum has retired after only a year of pokemon training no now you say but... wait a year yeah he hasn't aged <laughs> Sure. So yeah. after X amount of years, record-breaking years of being on an adventure, the truth is only a year has passed in the show. So he's retiring. Ash Ketchum's done. New main characters in the next Pokemon series. That's wild. Sword Art Online. I know you've never watched it, but I was a big fan, and I say was because every season just seems to not be as great. But that first season was so great. I'm down for it. Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh. Yu Yu Hakusho. 
Also not familiar because I am a newly formed anime fan. Death Note, supposedly getting live action. No information. Mm. You never saw Yu Yu Hakusho? No. no. That was or before your Death anime Note. life. I mean, yeah. you watch Dragon Ball Z. Not Yu Yu like Yu in order. It was like Toonami days. You probably turned it off. I was more of a Gundam and Dragon Ball Z. It was like Yu Yu Hakusho, Gundam, Dragon Ball Z. Or the yeah. opposite way. It might have been like later on in the night. Like, yeah. Yu Hakusho, like for the people that are older, 12 <laughs> o'clock, <laughs> the kids are in bed. <laughs> the last one I'd like to mention, obviously full circle here, My Hero Academia live action series to be announced. And obviously we know the rumor is Netflix. The Rock. I don't know, after I saw Black Adam, I don't want him in anything, to be honest. I'm sorry, but he would be perfect for that role because that's exactly the way he is. That's the only type of that's true. rock that you get. But do yeah. you have him shrink down to the skinny version no just completely no, always stay CGI. mainstream yeah i mean, remember fat rock again i hate that yeah <laughs> so that's honestly my biggest problem with my hero is i don't like that all might drastically change his form because they never really explained why he can't hold his muscular form and he goes to the skinny version mm-hmm. ready for a wild one i'd make rock the main full mm-hmm. all might and i would make who's that guy that was rumored to be dr doom who was in star wars uh gus Leon from breaking Carla. bad yeah, Giancarlo yep, yep, yep. Esposito. I would make him version? as a skinny version. You know, I was going to argue you for no good reason and thinking about it because All Might's demeanor drastically changes too. Yeah. Like he plays a character when he's buff. Damn, yeah. that might actually be solid. How fire would that be? That would be pretty They'd good. never get it. The Rock already is the most expensive thing that they can yeah. put in that. So yeah. you already know that the show is going to be shit because they're spending all their money on getting The Rock. So I actually made a TikTok about this, but I want to tell you about it because you probably didn't watch it. Donald Glover, the hypno hustler, right? We saw this rumor. Sony under the Marvel <laughs> Sony banner. I, it's a fake name. That's all it is. They're using the name right. and they're just no. like, oh yeah. That's my big them. theory. Yeah. And that makes me think maybe a Prowler movie or maybe a Miles movie. Can you imagine if Donald Glover starred and wrote and produced and directed Ooh. a Miles Morales movie and then popped up as the uncle, as the main villain? It'd be perfect. There's nothing even else to talk about with that. Like, that just would be the dream of this rumor. That's not a thing. It's like, who the fuck would want to see Hypno Hustler? No. I don't even think Bad Bunny's movie with the wrestler. I don't think that's a thing. I don't know how that hasn't just gone away. Like, that's still apparently active. What if a lying to us about that? And he's someone else? Who would he be? I don't really care about him, to be honest. I know he makes a lot of fucking money on concerts, though. Good for him. I was going to say, oh, maybe they make him Miguel. I mean, listen, I do see them leading towards not a Sinister Six like they already said they were. Like, that was their plan, right? They're building this Sinister Six movie, basically building an evil Avengers in a sense, right? Like, that was their idea of, like, building up to that. But I do see more of, like, a superior foes of Spider-Man, which, I don't know if you're familiar with that run. I didn't read it, but I know enough about it. It's basically, like, a lighter-hearted kind of... They were a little team, and they weren't necessarily evil, just not necessarily great. So I could see them trying to lead to something like that. Can you imagine if they got a James Gunn-style movie going with that, though? Like, with all the villains from the Sony-verse? Like, they bring back morbius but like in a funny way <laughs> i don't want to see jared leto ever again <laughs> yeah no that's fair all right fine, you're right, you're right. Sorry, i never sorry, even saw morbius right. actually so i shouldn't even like judge it it's, but... it's, it's worth putting on the background it's not painful to watch it's just generic as shit and poorly written and the dialogue's bad and the acting's subpar yeah I maybe just skip it honestly it's funny that you're bringing this up and the whole time i'm not even thinking about that movie i'm like Oh, I gotta watch Bullet Train. Gotta that watch. was good. That's in my mind right now. The two movies I don't care about that I should, because, you know, we're about comic books and stuff. Black Adam and... Um, Trash. Morbius. <laughs> Trash. I'm gonna just skip them and I'll just go watch Bullet Train. No, Bullet think. Train's good. Highly recommend. I want to watch it just to see where Bad Bunny's acting skill is. And since you've watched it... You're not gonna see it there, that's for sure. Okay, so then... And I'm you know the best part it. is? I didn't know that was Bad Bunny, so you just told me. <laughs> Next theory I just wanted to throw at you was there's a little Deathstroke rumor that maybe mm-hmm. even giving that actor who was Deathstroke, who got cut from everything, giving him a chance under James he Gunn. Should. He's perfect. Bruce Wayne. No. Okay. Maybe. So let's have a good jawline. I still want Oscar Isaac. As Bruce Wayne? He's still my top, even though he was Moon Knight, still Ah, my Bruce Wayne. They did a good job separating the two. So anyway, my point is, if this Deathstroke rumor is true and the Suicide Squad is not being pushed out with the Snyderverse, being kept as part of James Gunn's vision, then possibly the sequel to The Suicide Squad could be a Deathstroke versus The Suicide Squad, which we have seen in the comics and could be a Mm -hmm. great sequel and introduction for him and so on. The last thing I wanted to just kind of see if you had any thoughts on, because... 
especially if you want to mix it in with MCU. So Krakoa, you know, where the X-Men live now, you know, all yeah. that nonsense. So in the Avengers, X-Men, Eternals, Axe, Judgment Day, Kieran Gillen, fantastic, big, giant event. Cost me probably $300 to read it all. And I read it out of order like an idiot. In one of those issues, spoilers, they bring back Captain America in the same way they bring back mutants. The way this has unraveled after that event was the X-Men are now saying that they are going to offer reviving to some humans and they're calling it the Phoenix Foundation and it will focus on people who couldn't get the medical treatment and natural disasters and just like things that shouldn't have happened and they're going to start reviving humans. That is a very fucking interesting thing to put into the Marvel Universe, let alone any science fiction of just some group of people offering that, yeah, we're going to bring some people back to life. With the X-Men ending up in the MCU in the future, possibly maybe thinking about Krakoa in the future, if they go and ever get to down that path, because let's face it, they're not rebooting the MCU. It's an interesting thought that this could be a way they bring people back to life, not only in the comics, because in the comics, they kill them, someone takes their role for six months, then they come back, and then there's a new number one, and everyone bought the last number one and the number one before that. So my thought is they might have given themselves an easy way to bring people back in the comics, but it might be something that down the road they use in the movie to bring back Robert Downey Jr. for, you know, a small part in a movie. I don't like it. But you're yeah, right. it's interesting, though. It makes it very easy to do that. Like, what are we doing with the X-Men? Like, make them do something. Like, all they're doing is just bringing themselves back. Krakow is yeah. coming to an end, that's for sure. I thought that was the end. Now you're telling me they're going on another adventure. Yeah, it's not over yet. Back. I think that this could be the way things backfire. I don't know. I'm liking what the X-Men's doing right now. Yeah, so Panelist Podcast. I think Batman should always be white to really symbolize white privilege. Booty, 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 booty. We don't love Greg Capullo. No, we do. We do. We love oh, him. Greg Capullo we love. Yeah. Yeah. Scott Snyder. We also love. We love Scott Snyder. Yeah, we love them both very much. Who we don't we love? Tom King. We don't like Tom, Tom King. Tom King. Poison Man. <laughs> Calling him Poison? Poison Man. <laughs> Thank you for your service, though. I know you're like secret agent kind of shit. Still a little bit of Poison Man. You're a hero, but not mine. <laughs>